Yeah. What happening, man? Oh. Hey, what's up? What's happening? It's K. We back in this thing. K. So good. He sleep with a cut up and turn on the tongue. Sorry about that. I forgot. Like, we on a serious video. When we talk, we're here to talk about some real shit. Now, we're here to talk about the sad passing of uh upcoming Chicago artist. You could say he's part of the drill scene or the new emergence of the drill scene, but he's been putting in work for a while. We're here to talk about Duke Acapella, aka Lil Duke from Chicago. He has sadly passed away. He he was got caught up in the shooting and we here to talk about it now before i get into it you know this is a monotone video i ain't gonna be doing my little spiels or nothing but also like i want to send out my condolences to the friends the family and of course the fans of duca acapella i was familiar with him i heard a couple songs i liked him too as well he was a dope artist i never heard a full project if you will but i heard a couple songs and he was cool now the chicago scene i always root for them because just following it for a while with the warren chirac page that dj academics ran you could hate him or love him but like that was some good television if you will in a sense so it was like yeah yeah he gets a lot of slack for it but a lot of these some of these characters i would not know without dj academics so i was giving his credit there but also yeah so me continuing to follow these artists because i like the sound of the music got me to people like duke acapella and it just sucks that he lost his life like that now i know he's a street nigga we all know street niggas you know you get into stuff you know you in that life you know sadly this is one of the things that could happen to you you could pass away and nobody knows they day they're gonna pass away at, at the end of the day so this is also another uh uh thing to concern but like nobody should go out like that we don't want anybody to go out like that and it's just sad that he was coming up in his career he was doing his stuff he was becoming a, ra a rapper and this has happened now yeah he started i remember the, uh, one of the songs he was dissing pappy and niggas was like what the fuck why are you dissing pappy i didn't even know they had issues and he was dissing pappy heavily and a lot of people are like in inkling have an inkling that is what caused his death i don't think so he has beef with them people sure but like i don't think that was the specific thing that caused his death because that was a while ago and he's been making music he's been more focused on being an artist yeah he's talking and she might throw some subliminals here and there but he's been more focused on being an artist i don't think that that this is what got him uh his life taken but who knows i don't live in chicago but yeah it is crazy i think he got shot either on the monday the tw today's the 25th or so around the 23rd and he got shot basically it was him and a woman or another person and they got shot he got shot in his head and he was in critical they had to rush his ass to the hospital while the girl just got grazed and she will make a full recovery but him was more seriously took to the hospital now he was fighting for his life and i think yesterday it was confirmed by his management and some of his friends that he actually did pass away after fighting for his life and it's just sad to hear that as well and it's crazy if you have not heard of this artist i'll tell you go check out his music he is dope especially if you like the chicago drill sound you know king von dirk and them. if you like that sound you will enjoy this artist but it's just fucked up that he did pass away you don't want to hear that shit regardless you don't want to hear no shit like that a promising light somebody that a lot of people in hip-hop didn't get to hear is now gone and it is sad at the end of the day yeah, and it turns out he's fighting. Now, we don't know what beef he had. We know he did have beef. We don't know exactly what made it happen. It was reported. When the report came out, it didn't put no names, and they still never really verified names. But people have confirmed he's passed, and they have linked it up to him being that person that was shot with that other person. Right? So, it is just sucked that his light is gone. He was fighting. We've seen, like, friends. I think one person was caught a hundred stacks, confirmed that his friend passed away. It was, like, a hospital picture of him holding his, his friend's hand, like, yo, you fight with you you fought with all your money. Now you gone, bro. Until I see you again, you'll say hi to either his one of his people that died. I'm going to continue on for you. And his management did confirm it as well. And it's just fucking sad that this happens. Like, I always say, again, you don't know the end of your day. But, like, when you end up in this street shit, bro to the grave or to a cage that's that's what it is sadly to say and i know all motherfuckers always say that in their rap lyrics but it is fucking true to the cages to the grave i think my my nigga was like 22 years old 21 let me just check this real quick and yeah it's just fucked up that that happened as well good well i'm not gonna say good kid but yo shit just been crazy like with the germ or germ thing with his girlfriend getting kidnapped in front of him and passed like just a lot of crazy shit um r5 homicide allegedly taking his own life uh, it's just fucking crazy bro it is fucking crazy like you don't even know what to say anymore like you don't it's just like unbelievable and unimaginable that people are passing this much especially from 2020 to 2021 the amount of talent we have lost is ridiculous but anyways let me read this name real quick so 
Rapper Duke Acapella has died after he has reportedly been gunned down. His manager has confirmed the report circulated on Monday evening that the Chicago-based rapper had been shot. However, it has not yet been confirmed by police. Police, yo, you know what? That's also what happened with Low Loaded. They took so long to confirm that the way he passed away, but when everybody kind of figured it out already. So yeah, his manager uh has a fucking um uh Mary picture, you know, Mother Mary. A candle and this is what he says hang in there gang keep breathing need everyone to pay for duke Ac pray for duke a acapella he needs y'all right now so his manager denied and initially denied reports of his death however confirmed his tragic passing on tuesday evening so like i said he was fighting for his life and now he 100 percent passed so you know it's just crazy so the manager wrote this ish is fucking me up bad we were supposed to shoot a video today with zay how the f you gone gang he wrote please tell me this a effing dream or some i can't take this pain your sis told me you fought hard to your last breath thank you for that the manager concluded the post saying i promise to god i'm gonna keep your name and music alive i promise just hours earlier his manager wrote on on an instagram story over a photograph of a prayer can okay that's what i read Okay, fellow artist Latone posted a photograph of the pair on his instagram story with the caption just got the call but i don't believe it I don't believe it, gang. You got this. We gon' we ain't done slime. A second post from the rapper read, "My heart can't take it no more." Following the reports, fans rushed rushed to social media to offer their support. Whoa, bro, no. When you zero with another with another writing, bro, please don't be dead. It's just crazy, honestly. It's just fucking crazy. Now, yeah, we're going to need more specifics of what happened that evening. When that comes out, we'll talk about it. But it still sucks to see this young man pass away. And that's all I got to say. Especially Chicago. With the amount of talent they just lost. The E-Day passed like a couple weeks to a month ago. And now we got another situation in Chicago as well. It's just fucked up at the end of the day, bro. Honestly, it's, it sucks. It honestly sucks. But what can you do? When you end this street life, you end this street life. Now, I don't want to speculate what he was into, but yeah, he guys probably has some ops. And it might not even be ops. It might be some jealous motherfuckers. Or it might not even be because of a diss song or what he really did. It's just motherfuckers see you got a light. And he's trying to take that light before it really becomes something. And you a shining star. That's all it is sometimes, bro. Motherfuckers be petty and evil in this road at the end of the day. That's why you got to keep a good circle, a close circle with you, bro. And just fuck out the other niggas at the end of the day. But yeah, man, that's all I got to say. It's just sad, man. It's just sad. Like, we literally just lost our five homicide like a day ago, and now we got this situation, bro. That's what I'm saying. Hey, when rappers say being uh, being a rapper is a dangerous profession, at some point, you got to look at it and agree with them. Yes, a lot of these men are from the streets, but it's still a dangerous profession at the end of the day, bro. That's why these motherfuckers be running around with guns. You know, yeah, they got security, but they feel protected with their gun on them at the end of the day. But yeah, man, that's all I got to say on the subject, man. I'm off for this thing. Yeah, I ain't going to do my little spiel, but yeah. All I am left to say is my condolences to the friends, family, and of course the fans of Duke um, Acapella, a.k.a. Lil Duke. By the way, sorry. The reason he changed his name from Lil, du uh, from Lil Duke to Duke Acapella was because there was a Lil Duke on a uh, Young Thug's label YSL and he wanted to differentiate himself so he became Duke Acapella. Sorry about that. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Sorry about that. But like I said, my condolences to the friends, family, and fans of Duke Acapella. Shout I'm a fan. Yeah, go listen to his songs. He got some good songs, man. If you want that rawness, that realness, you're going to fuck with it, man. But you know what it is. I'm off of this thing. Slime Zoom P shot Elge Gang. Aye.